I don't know, this might have been a bad decision. What's up guys? Welcome back to the first Raw vlog. And we are here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And we figured we'd start the vlog and show you our place. Yeah. This is actually a really dope place. It's so good. What's it called? The Namen? Ni the Namana. It's in like the Nimen neighborhood, which is like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes walk outside of the old city. Um, but this is like the main super hip modern area. And we stayed here just because like amenities, tons of restaurants. Tons of shopping and all Pool, that. gym, beautiful brand new building. So this is the spot, this is like the little living room area. This is like the dining room area, I guess we just turned into our office. This is what I filmed the, our last video on. Actually, tell them, <laughs> we actually rearranged this apartment. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was weird because like you walk in and this couch was up against that wall and then this table was like right here. It was like the weirdest setup. It was weird and the TV was so far away from the couch that when we travel, this is actually funny, we bring our Apple TV everywhere we go. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. It's like the best travel hack to make you feel like you're at home. So we bring our Apple TV and our Apple remote and we just hook it up through HDMI through whatever TV we have so we can watch YouTube and Netflix on the TV to make it feel completely like home. So this is the place I don't know what this, I don't know why they put this here, but what I guess it's a little table for people to sit at. A really nice kitchen. And the bathroom. Not too shabby of a bathroom. What up? Shower. In our bedroom here, and Anastasia's shutting me in right now. Yeah, it's weird. They have like this, these sliding doors that you can just open and close. I guess if you have guests or something yeah. or you want more privacy. I think it's cool. It reminds me of like a Japanese style architecture. I don't know, it's pretty neat. Yeah. So that is our place that we're staying. Did oh, you and you know, I didn't show the balcony. Yeah, we got the balcony here. Not the best of views because they're doing like a lot of construction out here. But those, like those mountains are so beautiful. We're gonna take you guys up there in one of the more cinematic videos because there's like a hill tribe up there and two really beautiful temples and a waterfall. So we'll take you up there. So that's uh, that's the apartment. That's where we're staying for the next, I don't know. We've, we're here for 30 days, so. Let's like... be transparent and tell them how much it costs. Oh, okay. Because I would want to know. So this place, we actually got it for pretty cheap. It was like, just under 800 US dollars for the entire month. Yeah, which is really cheap compared to everything that we've been paying. We're normally paying about like a thousand to twelve hundred dollars a month for all the places that we're staying that yeah. we've been staying. But this is the most affordable one we've had so far. I found this unit to be the most affordable. There were tons of units in this building on Airbnb and they were more expensive. They were like 900, 1200 a month, but this one for some reason yeah. She's cool. Yeah, it was it was really cool because I mean the place is big as you can see. Out of the places that we've been, I I think this is the biggest location that we've had for the modern and amenities and stuff. The other places that we've been have been super modern, like really nice, brand new, uh, but just not as big as this and not as roomy. But I like this place. This place is really cool. Um, so. You guys, I want to thank you because the reason why we're putting these raw videos out is because we just got like an abundance of you guys are like, do it. Like on that last video we posted, I can't believe how many of you guys are like really interested in the more raw style videos. And I, I think it's cool because like we were trying to say in that video, in that update video, that's what Stacia and I like watching. Like yeah. we enjoy cinematic B-roll videos and, and cinematic travel videos. But at the same time, we also like just the more raw where you get to know people because you do, you kind of relate to them. Like, oh wow, I really like that sweatshirt. Or man, that he has got that new piece of camera equipment that I want, yeah. you know? And you can really relate to the people. And it's almost like watching a TV show. You know, you have like your, your favorite characters of the show. I think you guys really, really be able to get to know us a little bit more and have like a little bit more of a personal yeah. organic connection. So, so this is really cool. And like, I was so surprised. The video is, hasn't even been out for a full day yet. And we have like over 200 comments and 
everyone is just like, yes, go for the yeah. raw video. So like, I'm really surprised. And again, we're not, we're gonna keep on making the once a week cinematic like travel videos and, and activities. Yeah, a few people were like worried that those were going away. Those no. will never go away. Yeah, ever. those that's that's my my heart and soul I put into those. Uh, but this is just gonna be fun. So because of that, I mentioned in the video, I need to get a new camera because you guys can't see this camera. I'll show you later. But like. This is the A5100 and this is what I vlog with. And when I when I say what I vlog with, this is like the camera that I hold up, right? Like right now and I talk to the camera. So in any of my videos, this is the camera that I'm using to talk to you. It's a little bit too big. It's a small camera body, but I bought a wide angle lens and that makes the camera like pretty big and I can't like put it in my pocket and have to have like a clip on my belt or something. So I'm going to buy the, I'm, gonna, I'm hoping to go buy the RX100. So. We're going to the mall right now. We can show you the mall, it's a pretty cool mall, and hopefully get a good deal on that thing. Always forgetting to put her engagement ring on. I just am not used to wearing jewelry, if you guys can't tell. I don't, I'm not like a huge girly girl. I don't wear like a ton of jewelry or anything. Yeah, you do. You always got the earrings. Every time we go to a market, you go right for the jewelry. I like earrings. But I hate it when she leaves the house without that ring on. I don't do it that often. Anymore. Look how pretty it is. Have they ever like seen it up close? I don't think so. I don't know if this camera is really gonna show But yeah, there it is. You did a good job. This is weird filming like this I was just telling Ryan it feels like no pressure like usually when we're going out to an activity We're like running for a mental checklist of like, okay, like do I know everything about this location? Like do we know what shots we're gonna get and this is just like Okay, <laughs> no pressure how do you feel about it? It's very weird. We gotta tell them. It is very weird to be filming like this. Like, cause like Stacia just said, it's we normally film like all the activities and like have a planned day. And this is like super weird because I haven't done a video like this in over a year. Yeah, definitely. It's yeah, so this is uh freaky. Hello, how are you? Oh yeah, so this is the pool. Pretty dope, right? Not not too shabby, little infinity pool. Really nice. And then we get the gym right here, which we can't stand. That gym is probably one of the worst gyms we've ever been to. Like, out of all the places that we've had, they normally have gyms, and the gym's usually pretty good. This gym, worst equipment ever, so <laughs> it kind of sucks because we have to like go get a gym membership for the month uh, at like one of the local gyms. Thank you. Thank you. We had to stop and get some coffee. So this is like one of my favorite coffee spots here in Chiang Mai. It's called Restrato, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's like world-renowned champion coffee and champion coffee artists. Although I just have a regular old, just a regular old coffee. And then I have a baby Cortado. We've made it to the mall. This mall is called Central Festival and it's probably about like a five to ten minute drive down the road from where we are staying. There's a mall right next to us called the Maya Plaza. Maya, yeah. Maya Mall. Uh, but this one is way bigger and has way more stores and way more electronic stores. So now we're walking around the third floor and usually the third or fourth floor is like the electronics section. And they just have like iPhone stuff and cases and electronic stores everywhere. And I'm trying to find the one camera place, I think it's this place, Photo Pro over here, that where I talked to the lady that had it and she was gonna give me like a five or ten percent discount on it. I'm hoping she'll back me up again this time and sell it to me for the same price. Because it just went down like a hundred dollars online. So did it really? Yeah. Can you match the price that's online? We thought this tax refund stuff. Oh yeah, this thing's cool. This is called a VAT refund. So anything that you buy in Thailand that's pretty expensive, you can get your tax back returned to you when you leave the country at the airport. So we've actually bought in a lot of electronics here. Ryan got his new Apple Watch in Thailand. The last time we were in Bangkok, he bought the Sony A7 III and got all the tax back for that. And now the new Sony, the new raw vlog camera, we're getting the tax back for that too. And another thing that's really cool is when we buy these big purchases, we put it on our travel credit card, so then we get points. Get those flight miles. <laughs> Gotta get those flight miles. How do you feel? <laughs> it's always fun buying new toys. And this is the new little guy. There it is. Cool. Very 
Thank, Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. What are you doing? Oh my God, this is what raw vlogs are now. <laughs> this is it. You laying on bed. <laughs> Stacia's. I don't know. I think you're booking a flight. I don't know. She's doing something. We just got back. I'm here watching right now some Chase Reeves. If you guys are into like bags, you know me. I'm a bag junkie. Watch Chase Reeves. He has got some of the best bag reviews on YouTube. I watch this guy all the time. But sorry, Chase. Shut up for a minute. So, where's my stuff? So we got the uh, the camera goodies here, and I'm not gonna do an unboxing. You guys know what the RX100 Mark IV, Mark V, Mark VI, all of them, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, but many of you guys have asked me, Ryan, how do you guys get really good audio with these point and shoots and these other cameras that you use? Uh, especially when I don't use a mic. So like, I have the Rode mic, uh, Video Mic Pro, that I use for like my sit down talks and things like that, so like there's good stereo quality audio. But with my point and shoots, I can't show you this one because I'm holding it, but I use these windscreens and I cut them out and they stick like right over the mic ports on your camera and they really work. They work really well. They cut out the noise. Now, I don't think the audio on this RX100 is going to sound as good as this camera that I'm using, the A5100, but I don't know. It might sound good. It might sound the same. We'll have to see about that. I'm going to leave a link to these in the description of this video because so many people have asked me what I use and I'm just sick of answering them all the time. So this is it right here. Link is down below. Go check it out. So this is the finished product. See, we just got the little windscreen up top. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do because you have to line everything up really close. And the problem is, obviously I can cover up the flash because I don't ever use the flash, but I want to use the viewfinder sometimes because maybe I want to take photos or something. So I need to be able to, to get the viewfinder up without screwing up the windscreen. Uh, but overall, it worked. Everything came out the way I need. So let's test it out. This is the A5100 with the 10 to 18 wide angle lens. And then I'm gonna switch to the RX100 right now. Okay, and this is the RX100 Mark 5A. I got the 5A, which is basically their newest version of the RX100 Mark 5 that came out pretty much alongside the Mark 6 with the upgraded processor, faster autofocus, a couple other things, but it still keeps the ND filter, the 1.8 uh, apertures. So this is it. I don't know, it's pretty close to me compared to the wide angle. It's tough, it's a tough call. I don't know, but what do you guys think? How does the audio sound? Hopefully there's a difference. Let me know down below in the comments if you think the audio quality is good on this. Seems to be okay. I'm just not digging the 24 millimeter focal length. Man, that kind of sucks. I don't know. This might have been a bad decision. How do you like it? I don't. It's good. It's nice. It's clean, but 24 mil is just very close. With the wide angle, we have much more in the scene. I don't know. It's, it's going to take some time to get used to. But I like it's nice and light. It's small, so we'll have to see. Seriously, like that was the one thing that I was like concerned about was I had the G7X, and that's what I used to use back in the old days of vlogging. And the G7X was this same focal length, 24 millimeters. And it's really hard to like, like I really gotta hold out my hand. With my A5100, I, I could like hold it this close to my face and everything would be in frame and people behind me, everything. And this one obviously is only 24 mil and up. So yeah, it's close. It's really close, see? All right, I'm just trying to get used to this camera. I don't know. I'm like a little upset that I bought it. Yeah, he's having like a mild breakdown. That's <laughs> not a breakdown, it's just 900 bucks that I'm just not used to shooting on a point and shoot that's like 24 millimeters in focal length. So it's like I'm holding my arm out so far away. Yeah, but we're both in frame, no problem. Yeah, but it's just so much different than the other one. The other yeah, one, I would be able to hold it like right here. You can still, but then you'll be able to see your nose hairs. You guys want to see these? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's gonna be tough, and I'm knowing me, I might not use it that much. No, I'll force you to use there's it. No, nice. There's no refund policy on it, so, so I'm kind of stuck with this yeah, camera yeah. now. I know I'm, I'm probably gonna go back to the other camera no. and lens. You're just not used to it. Yeah, I don't know. You don't like change. 
I don't like change. So that's about it guys. This is just like a crazy first time of the raw vlog. We're sitting here eating pomelo right now. So good. Yeah, this is like my favorite fruit in Southeast Asia. Pomelo, I guess, is like the ancestor fruit to grapefruit and oranges. So pomelo came first and then all other of those citruses like grapefruit and oranges are hybrid fruits. Isn't that really? cool? Pomelo, holding it down. Pomelo OG fruit. is like, it's so good. I, I really think it's like my favorite all time fruit. It just has such a good texture. It's got these like really big, like, I don't know if you can see that. Focus camera, let's see what you got. Focus. Like my favorite. There, we, there go. we go. Like it's got these huge. What do you call those? It's got like the 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 fruit part. I don't know. Whatever whatever that is. They're huge and they're filled with juice and they're just. It's really good. I love the texture of them. So we're just sitting here gonna watch some TV and call it quits for the night. Hope you guys enjoyed this first ever raw vlog and boy, this one was raw. Yeah, they probably won't be this raw, but. Yeah, it's gonna take me some time to like get into the flow of these types of videos and just kind of, I don't know, get an understanding of how it's gonna work and how the you know format's gonna be, but work with me. Just give me a little bit of time and we'll have some more better, I don't know. I'm just rambling right now. So that's it. We're going to call it quits for this one. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.